The problem that created the need for the power pivot was when Selma and Robert Offey were on a walk, two dogs knocked Selma over, causing her to break her hip. This caused difficulty in transferring from one location to another, such as from a bed to a wheelchair. When they went to a therapist, the therapist said that they should use this manual slip disc, but the manual slip disc last control, lacked control and it was very dangerous. Robert Offey said, I have to twist her too hard to get it started and then it won't stop. It was supposed to be so I could use it, but I didn't have the ability to make it turn any. It didn't work. When we started building the power pivots, we realized that we needed to find that gap between the manual slip disc. Um, the larger uh, lever discs are really expensive and bulky, and they can't be ported around easily. easily. So we wanted to find the in-between of those two different markets to get portability and reliability. Most of the power pivot was made at Discovery High School, which is a project-based learning campus. Both the base and rotating disc were made on a CNC router. The Teflon slip disc and the grip tape were made on a laser cutter. And the housing and gear segments were made on a 3D printer. We have custom gears made out of steel and we order electronics and motors. Our goal was to create a small powered pivot device that was affordable to the main population. And we started this by making a gearbox with a motor, bevel gears, and electronics inside of it. The remote is designed to go forward and reversed and stopped if dropped. And the power pivot is designed to be small and portable. It can fit large feet and then fit under a walker. So he got this thing put together for us, and uh, it's amazing what, uh, what that will let us do. And he took it to the church, yeah. and there were a number of church people that said, that's really good. We originally made this for Selma, Robert Alfie's wife, but as we researched and started building the power pivot, we realized we're not only making it for Selma, but also for the 42 million personal care providers that are taking care of loved ones the team challenge was a perfect fit for our project-based learning school. The project scope took along a life of its own, driven by what was learned by, about the needs of the community and the realization that a group of high school students could actually do something about it. As the project gained momentum, it captured the interest of additional students. What started as an engineering design challenge has grown into a full production effort 